So now see in this sum, we have a hexagonal prism. So first we will draw x, y. See side is given 35, height is 70 and the base edge is in HP. So what we will do, when we will draw hexagon, we will draw like this. See this. So this I can write A, B, C, D, E, F. And in front view, I will get a rectangle. This is A dash, F dash, B dash, E dash, C dash, D dash. So this is top view, this is front view. And see why I have drawn it like this? Because there's they have that in C. If you see this over here, that mentioned base edge in HP. So this is the edge. So it has to be on right hand side. Why? Because when you tilt, it has to be on X, Y line. So that's why whenever they say base edge, so the edge has to be on right hand side because we will tilt it on right hand side. Now they want the rectangular face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So this is the rectangular face containing that edge. So this they are, they are talking about and this is inclined at 30 degree. So what we will do? First we will draw that 30 degree. Right? If this is 30, this will be 60. Because we want this 90, right? Then we will take this distance cut on this side. So this will be now this will be here right then we'll take this distance we'll cut it over here. We'll take this distance and cut it over here. So we'll join this. See, so take this, cut it on this side. So this is A dash, F dash, B dash, E dash, C dash, D dash. Right? Okay. After that, we need to project this point down. So what I will do, I will extend A dash, F dash from here. E and F from here. So I'll get two points. Then I'll extend B dash E dash. B from here. E from here. Then C dash D dash. C from here. And D from here. So when you will join. So we get this. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Right? Now same way, we can take this point, lower point also. Now see, lower point, I can name them as P, Q, R, S, T, U. Right? So this point will be what? This is P dash, U dash, Q dash, T dash, R dash, S dash, R dash, S dash, Q dash, T dash, P dash, U dash. So what we need to do, we need to extend P dash, U dash from here and P from here, U from here. So we got point P and U. Same way, we'll extend Q and T. So T from here, Q from here. Same way, we'll extend R and S. We get R from here, S from here. See this R and S. So now, when observer will see from the top, you can see this part. So that will be dark. Boundary line will be dark. Right? Now, P dash, A dash, and U dash, F dash will be dark. So P and A will be dark. U and F will be dark. Now this point is away from the observer. See when observer will see from the top, this is the lowest point, right? To which observer can't see. So those points will be dotted. So this will be dotted.
and S2D will be rotated. So we are done with pro projection. So that means we are done with front view and top view of our hexagonal prism. When one of the rectangular face is inclined at 30 degree to horizontal plane. We can do dimensioning as well. This is 35. This is 70 